Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hello, my name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you clicked on today's video. Today is going to be my August favorites. Happy September. I'm so excited for fall. Fall is my favorite season and it's just far too hot here basically all the time and I'm over it. So yeah, this is going to be some of my favorites from the month. I haven't done one of these in a really long time and that's honestly because I feel like I don't have favorites every month. Like, I mean, I'm not discovering new things every month. And some of these aren't like new, they're just things that I've rekindled my love for. So I'm not gonna do like an order of like different categories, I'm just gonna show you everything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So my first two favorites are actually a pair of pairs of shoes. And if you guys know me in real life, you know, shoes are probably my favorite thing. Like, I don't care really what I wear, but my shoes, I always, I just love shoes. So I've always been like that. And sneakers especially are like totally my vice. So these are from the brand On, and I know Alabama Rush TikTok, bunch of girls were wearing On sneakers. That's not actually why. I think that's how they got popular or like more people my age, like 20s, are getting them. But I know a lot of older people, like my cousins, have these shoes and that's actually why I bought them. A lot of people use these as golf shoes as well. These are the On Cloud shoes. They're super comfortable. They come with laces, but they also come with just like this elastic and so you don't have to tie them. They're just like stretchy, which I really like. The material on them is actually pretty soft, the whole thing, but the back is like very firm, which I know some people don't like, just so you guys know. They're not like the most traction filled shoe. They're very light though, and that's why I like them. So I wear these more for running around like doing errands, walking, stuff like that. I don't know if I would use these as a running shoe, even though that's what they advertise them as. But yeah, so these are my first favorite. The only thing I will say is that the opening for your foot is very wide. So you're gonna see a lot more of the top of your foot than a normal sneaker. And at first that kind of like turned me off, but I really don't notice anymore. Of course they have other styles you can get. So this is not the only one that you're tied to. So my second favorite shoe of the month are my Nike Infinity React Flyknit twos, I think that's what they're called. These Alex actually got for me. He does he like researches shoes before he buys them. And these are just super amazing running shoes. I don't run. However, I have a couple friends who have these that do run in them and love them. These are the black these are the black ones and they actually have speckles in the midsole which are really cute. But yeah, they have a bunch of different colors and some of these are actually on sale right now. So be sure to check down below for those because I know a lot of them are on sale. And yeah, they're just really soft. The midsole very much so is reminiscent of like an Ultra Boost. So if you like those, these are super squishy. They feel like you're bouncing. So super comfortable. Obviously I don't lace them. I just tie them like this because I, again, wear them mostly for running errands and stuff like that. But love these and they were definitely a favorite of the month and obviously they go with everything so that's always a plus i would say maybe size up a half size i got my true to size and they're a bit tight but if you run i feel like you do want tighter shoes so maybe not but if you're wearing them more for comfort i would say size up a half size so my next favorite is actually a water bottle and i used to be still am addicted to water bottles i've tried to change my ways and i don't buy them as much but i did buy this one my boss actually is the one who had this water bottle and she was telling me how cool it was and of course i'm a sucker for water bottles so i purchased it right away so basically it's a normal water bottle there's nothing special about it um it does lock so if you don't want it to open it won't open if you wanted to put it in a backpack it also could like hook to a carabiner clip if you want it to um you just push it to open but the part that's so great about it is that you can swig it or you can use it like a straw so I can't tip it really because all the water will come out. Well, I could try. So it has the tip where you can just drink it like a straw lid or just swig it. These water bottles were became extremely popular on TikTok apparently. I never saw them on TikTok, but that's where she said she saw them. And yeah, so I got one. They have a couple of other colors, but I feel like the other colors are very kiddish. They're like very vibrant pink and orange, blue and green, stuff like that. So I just got the white one. They do have an all black one, but that was kind of basic, so got the white. So my next favorite is actually an old favorite, but a new rekindled love. So this is the Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. I've been an Erin Condren user for like over seven years now. And I started with their humble beginnings of a planner, which honestly they've upgraded so much. But 
this cover did not come with the planner um i got it custom but they do have a bunch of different color colors and covers and themes and stuff like that and you can put your name on them and personalize them i used you'll if you go back on my channel not that long ago you'll see i was addicted to planner stickers for a long time and it's not that i'm not anymore but i just think that i ended up doing it a lot for the design and like for fun and it was kind of like expensive they're five dollars six dollars for a weekly sheet plus all the add-ons so it becomes like seven or eight dollars a week which doesn't seem like a lot but then the functional stickers are five dollars each and all of a sudden you have like two hundred dollars of planner stickers in your etsy cart so this is what the planner stickers look like i still love planner kate so if you're looking for a planner sticker brand planner kate is definitely the way to go i loved it super cute but again like look at all this empty space i wasn't using and you know i used uh, the habit trackers i did use but everything else just kind of not really didn't work for me and so i stopped buying kits and i started to just handwrite stuff and i love it so much so i still have habit trackers on the bottom right here as well as like what i'm currently reading so i do still use some stickers and then i use these little dot stickers for checklists but i'm not using the weekly kits at all anymore as you can see this is plain this is like what the planner looks like when you get to it um i am still buying weekly or monthly sets this i think is worth it because i use the monthly view a lot and this is not really it's just like giving it a theme jazzing it up so i didn't completely give it up but i've found that i gravitate so much more to my paper planner without all those stickers in it so yeah my ec hourly has definitely become a new favorite again and i was almost going to give up the whole planner so i'm glad i didn't do that but just getting back to the roots of the bare bones planning really worked for me so this was a favorite this month for sure so my next favorite is my ipad pro and my ipad pencil and my ipad magic or the apple magic keyboard so i don't have the keyboard in here with me right now because wow that's annoying because i actually have it like out in my on my desk but this is the ipad pro i got this last summer as well as the ipad pencil i had the old ipad and the old ipad pencil or apple pencil before that and i would say any ipad and any pencil that's what i like but the pro with the magic keyboard really does turn it into a laptop which was really nice because i have a i had a huge macbook that i basically couldn't carry anywhere because it was i got the biggest one which i don't know why i did that but this is amazing i don't really watch a lot of content on here like youtube and stuff but for school this came in so clutch um i was in an online math class and she would send the pdf documents and you'd have to write on them and send them back so I would write on them on good notes which is an app you do pay for but again totally worth it and i would write the whole thing on good notes and then i could send it back as a pdf all from my ipad never needed to print it out or anything like that and it was so nice this semester and i mean i kind of thought that it was a bad purchase when i first got it because i barely ever used it but now i'm using it for everything i use it for peloton and all that stuff so my ipad pro has definitely been a favorite this month as well as my magic keyboard however i just have a normal case on it right now this is just like a normal amazon case with a sticker on it um and then related to the ipad a little accessory that i would get i write super heavy handed i've always been that way it's annoying on this especially because you see the screen like bowing a little bit and you're like oh like it's an expensive piece of equipment to be just like bashing your handwriting into but yeah i've tried to keep it lighter on the ipad just because i don't want the ipad to break but these pencil tips from amazon are incredible so it doesn't look like there's anything on it but this is like what the normal tip looks like and it's a plastic tip and it's super super slippery on an ipad um you can buy paper like note paper feeling like screen protectors for your ipad that make it feel like note paper alex has that and honestly i don't think it feels like note paper i feel like it feels like a grainy screen protector so these little pencil protectors on the top that you can buy on amazon are rubber and it makes the traction much better so you're not just like gliding all over the ipad without this you can hear it it's like very like it just glides everywhere um but with this when you put the tip on these are super cheap on amazon you don't hear it and it just it's a lot grippier and i really really love them so they do wear out very fast like 
very fast especially if you're heavy handed the tip just like comes off the rubber because it's because of the friction but this is a 40 pack they're called nib covers this is a 40 pack on amazon i just found this brand randomly they have a bunch of different colors and everything i'm talking about is linked down below so you can get direct links to this stuff but i really love them super cheap and like the best upgrade i ever made to my ipad for sure so my next favorite is funny so these are name stickers from minted and i saw these a lot as a camp counselor they're basically put on like waterproof just indestructible paper that you can put in the dishwasher the washer you can put them on clothes all sorts of stuff and moms these days really really love a good name label and this is where they get them they get them from minted and there's plenty of designs to choose from and i love them and i'm 21 so i use them to mark stuff like this so mine have my phone number on them and i actually just ordered ones that just have my name because i don't need my number on my water bottle um but i've run this through the dishwasher multiple multiple times they don't come off i mean you can take them off with no residue but they're not supposed to come off and they never do um i have them on my ipad i have them on my computer um i have them on my graphing calculator alex actually had his graphing calculator returned to him because he had a sticker with his name on it um so yeah label all your stuff guys i know it's like a mom thing my mom it used to drive me crazy my mom like wrote my name on everything but now i'm telling you it's worth it so like i have it on my ipad on the bottom and you know if someone's gracious enough to return something like that it makes it easier for them because they can just call or text that number and if they know you in person they know that your name is your name um so yeah and obviously like you don't even see it because my I, my ipad's in a case and i assume like a lot of yours would be too they can't even see it so it, it's just a good idea to keep that stuff labeled up so i label my water bottle because the mom that i work for has the same one so i know that's like kind of extra to label your water bottle i normally wouldn't do that but because she has the same one i put a label on mine so that we can tell them apart because they're literally the exact same so yeah i really enjoy these they are a bit pricey they're 30 bucks for a sheet of tw or 20 bucks for a sheet of 30 so it's a bit much but again they have all sorts of designs and there are ones that are less kid like like i don't feel like this geometric print is all that like childish but they do of course since they are for kids have a lot of childish designs as well or like kid designs so if you're a mom or a college student whatever get yourself some dishwasher machine washer safe labels because life changer game changer so my next favorite is actually an interesting one this is a couple's journal it's called a year of us there's plenty of these on amazon a bunch of people can recommend like different ones yasmin switzer recommended one that you can get on or target um but i just got this one on amazon it's a question a day to spark fun and meaningful conversations so there's a little bit of a prompt at the beginning to explain like what it's like asking but every day basically you, for a year you fill out a prompt of course it doesn't have to be every single day we've missed a couple days but some of the questions are like more fun like it'll spark like kind of like a creative conversation and the other ones are kind of deep and you're like wow like i didn't know that about you so this is not i don't think a couple needs to be in crisis or trouble to build you know a stronger bond and especially I'll just say he doesn't care that I say this but Alex is not really like an emotional person and so sometimes I think it's like hard because I'm very emotional and you know you think that they are not opening up to you because it's just not in their personality but this book will really bring up big conversation and we've had a lot of fun doing it so far some of them are kind of dumb but a lot of them are really fun and again it has like good graphics it's good quality I know some people bought two of these so they could each fill one out but we just take turns writing like another's response so yeah we do this a lot and it is super fun and i think it's just like a good way to connect with your partner it's an activity for you to do together it takes like five minutes every day and um we've missed like a couple days but we're still working on this and then my last favorite is my mighty bright reading light they used mighty bright used to make reading lights that had battery operation like or that were battery operated and i used them all the time as a kid for lighting my music stand um now i'm a big reader i was not back then but i am now and i use this thing every night it's a lot we have 
Philips hue bulbs in all of our lights so I can make the room dark if I want to but there's something about reading in the dark with a book light that just like elevates the experience so this one you can charge which is nice there's no battery it's super bright and then if you hold it down on the power button it dims itself and honestly I've only had to charge this once since I got it and I'm pretty sure I got it like a year ago so this has definitely been a recent favorite. I like to try and wind down for bed. Alex also has one in blue, but mine is white. And they have a bunch of different colors on Amazon. They're kind of pricey, but like you never have to buy one again. So yeah, I really like my Mighty Bright Reading Light. Again, an Amazon find. And the neck is super flexible, so it can go any which direction. Sometimes I actually put it like on my headboard, like laying down like this, so it just lights down because sometimes paperback books are hard to light. So yeah, love that. So that's going to do it for my August favorites. I'm so glad that you guys joined me on this little adventure. Again, never feel pressured to buy anything that an influencer or me, I'm not an influencer, but anybody tells you to buy, you don't need any of this stuff, but I love all of it and I wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.